Ciao, I'm Dan Amatuzzi with Italy USA, and welcome to Know Your Vino, where we talk all things Italian wines and producers. Today we're joined by Niccolo Maltinti of Pronoto Winery to talk about Barbaresco. Niccolo, thanks for being here. Buongiorno, thank you for having us. So Niccolo, tell us a little bit about Barbaresco. Well, Barbaresco is uh, a wonderful wine that comes from the region of uh, Piedmont. So Piedmont, as, as the name says, is the region at the feet of the mountain, at the Piedi del Monte, in the northwest part of Italy. So uh, the two most important wines that are made in Piedmont are Barbaresco and Barolo. So Barbaresco is made with uh, a local grape that grows only in this specific area of uh, Piedmont, which is Nebbiolo. So Nebbiolo has been rooted in uh, Piedmont for around the 13th century. So it had a long, long time to adapt in the area and to really adjust to the climate there. How would you describe Barbaresco to a new wine drinker? Well, Barbaresco is a wine that um, tends to uh, show up more with elegance rather than power and intensity. Um, the Barbariscos tend to be very perfumey, very elegant wines, um, very, very feminine in the notes, especially in the, in the, in, in the flavor. The flavor profile, I would say, that, that goes more towards, you know, rose petal notes, uh, tea leaves, uh, some tobacco notes, but it's a wine that tends to privilege elegance over power, over muscles. Which winemaking grapes throughout the world would you compare Barbaresco wine to, or Nebbiolo in this case? Is it more like Pinot Noir or a little more like Malbec? It, I would say that given its characteristics, uh, probably the closest uh, variety to uh, Nebbiolo is uh, the Pinot Noir that you mentioned earlier. Mainly because um, of its lighter color, Barbaresco is made with Nebbiolo, they tend to have quite light color, not like a deep uh, red color, um, and also with the privilege of, of on the notes on the on the bouquet, on the flavor that come out in the bouquet. So I would say Pinot Noir would be the would be the answer. So Barbaresco is sometimes affectionately called the the queen to the king, which would be Barolo. Well, if you look back, uh, it all starts from the soil compositions and the differences between Barolo and Barbaresco. So, in Barbaresco, you have younger soil, usually there is more sand, so sandy soil versus clay and more calcareous soil in Barolo. So this transfer into the wine with giving a little more uh, delicate notes, a little lighter style at the approach, but still quite intense. What are some of the more traditional food pairings with Barbaresco? Uh, there's a lot of traditional food pairings. What, um, what I do like is to, to enjoy a glass, or I would say maybe a bottle of, of Barbaresco with the Agnolotti del Plin, which is a traditional uh, dish from the area. The Agnolotti are little small ravioli, almost shaped ravioli, that are um, filled with little meat and uh, they're served with, uh, with a butter sauce, butter and, and sage, if, uh, if you wish. Well, Niccolo, thanks so much for all the tutelage today. Thanks for all the lessons about Barbaresco. We look forward to tasting and learning more about this fantastic region moving forward. Appreciate your time. Grazie. Salute. Ciao for now. We'll see you next time on Know Your Vino.